Good morning. Try and straighten this up a little bit. Good morning. So today is fitness pilates with me. I am Laurie. There's going to be hard options, easy options. You just do what's best for you. Um, I have a mat behind me. If you have a mat at home, please grab one. If you don't, it's okay. You can use a towel. You can use just the ground. Um, if you've got carpet, it's a bit better than just hard ground. Um, you can do this in shoes, socks, bare feet. It's entirely up to you. If you need a drink at any point, please take one. Please only do this class if you're feeling fit and well. And I think that's about it. Are you all feeling good and ready to get going? Okay, so we'll just begin with a warm up. For once in one of my classes, we're actually beginning by sitting on the ground. So sit down, abdominals squeezed in, shoulders back, chest up, knees bent and feet flat on the mat. We're going to do a half roll back to begin with, so it's deep breath in. When you breathe out, Squeeze in the abdominals and the one arm goes out to the side. Breathe in, come back up. And we'll repeat on the other side. Deep breath in, breathe out, arm comes out. Hi Lorraine. And the other side. Squeezing in your belly button towards your spine and reaching out. So we're just warming up our back. Warming up our abdominals. Keep on doing that. I'm just going to move that around. It's moving slowly. Soon you'll see the washing. <laughs> so we're warming up our abdominals, warming up our back. Keep on going, you're just going back as far as it's comfortable for you. If you need to, you can hang on to a leg as you're rolling back and coming back up again. Keep breathing, deep breath in, breathe out as you come down and keep on going. I think my phone is still slightly turning, I'm going to move it, keep on going. Sorry about this, don't normally have this problem. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit better. So the next part that we're going to do is roll all the way back and come back up. So holding onto your leg, going back, stretching out those arms. If you can, straight legs if you need to, bend the legs. And you can also bring up your arms Rest them on your legs and come all the way back up. Deep breath in when you breathe out. Roll back. Squeezing in your belly button towards your spine. Stretching out those arms. Harder option. Straight legs. Coming up and reaching down towards your toes. Breathing out. Coming up. Squeezing in the abdominals, arms towards your toes, and again. So this is warming up your back, warming up your abdominals. This move in fitness classes, we do lots of things to keep you, your body moving, keeping your mobility nice and strong. So this move is to help you get out of bed in the morning. So coming up, we'll do one more. Reach towards the toes. Next move, we're going to warm up our sides and a bit of our back. So some of you hate this, I do apologise. Some of you love it though. Russian twists. 
easiest option, feet on the ground, clasp your hands together, shoulders back, chest up, twist, middle, twist, harder option, feet are in tabletop position, twisting round, keep on going, I think this is moving again, I do apologise, I'm really sorry, we do not normally have this issue, That should be it now. So Russian twists. Follow the hands with your head. You're working your obliques. You're getting your back moving as well. Twist. Twist. Squeeze in your belly button towards your spine. Harder option. Legs in tabletop position. Twist. Can you feel it? I can't hear you. Can you feel it? Two more, counting on one side. Once you've done that, we're going to lie all the way back, stretching out our abdominals. All the way down, stretch out the arms, stretch out the legs, pointing the fingers, pointing the toes. Next move that we're going to do is go into tabletop position. So I'll show you it from this view and then I'll turn around and show you the side view. So it's hands by your sides or under your bum. Make sure your pelvis is curled under our back nice and flat. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine. Take in a deep breath. When you breathe out, one leg comes up to 90 degrees. Knee in line with your hip. Take another deep breath. When you breathe out, Second leg joins it. This is tabletop position. Keep your core nice and tight. Belly button squeezed in towards the spine. Hands by your sides or under your bum to support your back. So keep holding. I'm going to switch around. Show you the side view. So it's hands by your sides or under your bum. Move up a bit so you can see my legs. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine. Deep breath in when you breathe out, one leg goes up to 90 degrees. Taking another deep breath when you breathe out, second leg joins it. Keep your core nice and tight. There should be no gap under your back. If there is, hands go under your bum. Squeeze in that belly button towards your spine. Keep on holding. Can you feel it? So you might be shaking a little bit. If you're feeling nothing, your knees are too close to your chest. If you're feeling it a lot, maybe they're a bit too far out for you. So you bring them in, make sure the knee is in line with the hip. If you want to make this move harder, you can tap down with the toe. The closer you tap to your bum, the easier it is. The further away you tap, the harder it is. If you find it was hard enough in tabletop position, keep in this position, that's absolutely fine. Whatever works for you, doesn't matter what anybody else in the house is doing. If at any point you need to stretch out, you lower your feet down, stretch out your arms, stretch out your legs, point at your fingers, point at your toes, and stretching out your abdominals. When you're ready, you come back into tabletop position, either tapping or holding, it's up to you. Four, three, two, and one, legs down. Stretch out, point fingers, point the toes. Stretching out those arms, stretching out your legs. So the next move that we're going to do, I'll demo it this way, turn around to show you the other direction. So you've got a few different points of view. We're going back into tabletop position. Pelvis curled under, back nice and flat on the mat, belly button squeezed in towards your spine. Hands by your sides or under your bum, deep breath in. When you breathe out, one leg comes up. Take another deep breath when you breathe out. Second leg comes up. You drop one knee down, the other leg stays in tabletop position. Bring it back up. Drop the knee down to the other side, bringing it back. So make sure your legs stay at 90 degrees, belly button squeezed in towards your spine, back nice and flat on the mat. It's 
So this is really good for your hip flexibility and mobility. You're still working your abdominals and your back as well, so your core strength. Keep on moving. Belly button squeeze in towards your spine. So you keep doing it. I'm going to switch position. Show you what it looks like from the other direction. So legs on the tabletop. Hands are by your side or they're under your bum, supporting your back. As you can see, the leg that's up stays in that same position, 90 degree angle, while that other one drops down. Your back is nice and flat on the mat and your belly button is squeezed down towards your spine. If you find your back is rocking side to side, do a smaller knee drop. If you're finding it's too hard, you can stay in tabletop position. That's absolutely fine. Still working. Keep your core squeezed in, back nice and flat. Almost done. Four, three, two, one. Legs down. Stretch out. So you can stretch out at any point in the class, it's entirely up to you. You just stretch however you feel you need to. So we've warmed up our hip flexors, we've warmed up a bit of our abdominals and our back. Next move that we're going to do is going to work the lower abdominals and the inner thigh. Hands are by your sides or under your bum, supporting your back. Pelvis curled under. Back nice and flat, belly button squeezed in. Deep breath in when you breathe out. One leg goes up nice and straight, either pointing the toes or flexing the foot. You circle that leg around. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine, circling the leg around. It's up to you how big or how small the circles are that you're doing. The smaller the circle, the easier it is. The bigger the circle, the harder it is. If you find this uncomfortable for your hip, bend the knee and circle around. Keep your core nice and tight, belly button squeezed in towards your spine, back nice and flat on the mat and really concentrate on keeping it flat. That will really work your abdominals and your inner thigh. Two more this way. Then we'll change direction. So again, this might feel uncomfortable for you. If it does, bend the knee. If it doesn't, straight leg. You might find that you've got less flexibility going this way than you did the other way. You can do smaller circles. As I said before, really concentrate and squeezing your belly button in towards your spine. Four more. Once we've done this leg, we'll move on to the other one. Lower that down. Other leg comes up, either pointing the toes or flexing the foot. Circle your leg around. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine. Back nice and flat on the mat. And again, just doing as big or as small circles that are, that are as comfortable for you. Squeeze in that belly button. Are you feeling it? Almost done in this direction, just a couple more, then we'll change direction. Change direction, other way. Belly button squeezed down, back nice and flat to the mat. Keep on going. Three to go. Three, two, and last one. 
Bring in your legs towards your chest. Stretching out your hips, your legs, and just loosening them off. It's like stepping, the tiniest, smallest steps that you can do whilst holding onto your knees. Stretch out the arms, stretch out the legs, pointing the fingers, pointing the toes. Next move that we're going to do is big steps. So one knee comes up towards your chest, the other leg comes out. The higher up your second leg is, the easier it is. The lower down it is, the harder it is. Belly button is squeezed in towards your spine. Back's nice and flat on the mat. So pick one leg. When that leg comes in, breathe in. When that leg goes out, breathe out. If you are a regular fitness Pilates participant, you might want the harder option. Or you do this option if you are feeling fit and well, if you don't have any back and neck problems as well. So if you want the harder option, you bring up your head, neck and shoulders off of the ground and you're looking down your body towards your legs. Belly button is squeezed in towards your spine. Bring in one knee up to your chest. Straightening out the legs. So this is really good for your lower abdominals. If your head, neck and shoulders are up as well, you're working the upper parts as well. Stretch out those legs. And you're just going at speed that feels comfortable for you. You're concentrating on your breathing. When one leg comes in, breathe in. When that same leg goes out, breathe out. It's up to you. You can go as fast or as slow as it feels comfortable for you. Four more counting on one leg. After this, we'll stretch out, pointing the fingers, pointing the toes, stretching out your abdominals. So the next move that we're going to do, we're going to work your lower abdominals and inner thigh again. You'll also find it's working part of the outer part of your hips as well. So we're going to do is so those legs will come out, they'll cross over, out, we'll cross the alternate way. Belly button is squeezed in towards your spine, hands are by your sides or under your bum. You're going to bring your knees up towards your chest. Deep breath in when you breathe out, legs come up. You go out, cross over, out, cross over. Easier option, bending the knees. If you want the middle option, it's straight legs. The closer your legs are up towards the roof, the bit easier. If you want even harder, straight legs but lower. The closer they are to the ground, the harder it is. So, like all the other exercises, it's up to you how fast or slow you're going. Keep your belly button squeezed in towards your spine, back flat against the mat. In. We're working the inner thigh. We're working the outer parts of your hips, lower abdominals as well. Keep on going. Four, three, two, and one. Bring in your knees towards your chest, stretch out your legs, pointing your fingers, pointing your toes. So the next move we're going to do is similar to big steps, but instead of holding onto our leg, our hands are by our sides. One leg comes up, the other one goes out. So we're going cycling. The lower your legs are towards the ground, the harder it is. The higher up your legs are towards the roof, the easier it is. One knee comes in, 
that other leg stretches out. So I'm going to turn that other way so you can see this from the side view. So again, like all the other moves, it's up to you how fast or how slow you're going. Hands are by your sides or under your bum. One leg up, other one out. Big circular movements with the legs. The lower the legs are towards the ground, the easier it is. The higher up you cycle towards the roof, the harder it is. And it's up to you how fast or how slow you're going. Also, while you're cycling in this move, if you get to puncture and you need to stop and stretch, that's okay. You can do that whenever you like. How are you getting on on your bike? Feeling good? Does anyone stop for a puncture yet? Or a picnic? <laughs> Four more this way, and then we're going to cycle backwards. Backwards. So this feels really unusual after going forwards. Again, easier option, higher up you go, easier it is. The lower down you go, the harder it is. So this is really good for the lower abdominals. Feel working your back as well. Keep on going. Keep that core nice and strong. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine. Four. Three. Two. And one. Knees up towards your chest. Stretch out your arms. Stretch out your legs. Pointing your fingers, pointing your toes. And then we're slowly going to roll up. So this is what we did at the beginning. Harder option, straight legs. Easier option, bend the legs. And if you need to, you can pop your hands on your legs to help you get up. Harder option, arms go above the head. Deep breath in. When you breathe out, arms slowly come up. When your hands are in line with your head, neck and shoulders, you lift them up, you squeeze in your belly button towards your spine. And you slowly come up. Once you're up, I'm going to show you the next move. So this move, I like to call stirring the pot. You clasp your hands together. Easier option, you stir your knees. You use your core, you squeeze in your belly button towards your spine. And you lean back. Just as far as it's comfortable for you. So easier option, you're stirring your knees. Harder option. You're coming forward and you're going as far back as you can. So you try and get your feet in your pot, your belly. Question that I always ask when we do this in class, what's in your pot? I have had a variety of answers for this. Someone said Coca-Cola chicken. I've never heard of that. Actually, still never tried that, but it does sound quite good. There's been cocktails, soup, porridge, chocolate cakes. Question is, what's in your pot? We'll go the other way. Squeeze in your belly button. Work those arms. Use that core. We're almost finished stirring whatever it is that we're making. Haven't decided what I'm making yet. Maybe my chicken especial. That's what I call it anyway. So next move. We're going down onto our side. So you're lying down flat on the mat. Arms outstretched, head resting on your arm. 
cock arm is either on the mat or it's on your waist and legs are outstretched as well. Your body is in a nice straight line. Abdominals are squeezed in, bum is squeezed in. Taking a deep breath when you breathe out. One leg comes up. Taking another deep breath when you breathe out. Second leg comes up. Keep that core nice and tight. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine, bum squeezed in. Remember, if you need to, your arm doesn't have to be on here. It can be on the mat to help support you. So next move we're going to do is a leg abduction. Leg goes up and then comes down. If you find it too hard, having both legs off the ground, you can lower this one down and you can have it on the ground. Keep your core nice and tight and we're just going to lift up that leg as far as it's comfortable. Four, three, two, let's go. Up. Down, up, down, abdominals squeezed in, belly button towards your spine, up, down, keep on going, so this is really good for the outer part of your hips, bit of your thigh, and you're working your core as well to keep your balance, you also find it's working a bit for the bleak. Two more. One. And then keep your legs both hovering above the ground. One's going forward, the other one's going back. Again, if that bottom leg cannot come up off of the ground, you can keep it down and you can move that leg forward and backwards, keeping your core nice and tight. Squeeze in your abdominals, belly button towards your spine. Keep breathing. How are you doing? You feeling good? Four, three, two, and one. Lower your feet to the ground. This top leg is coming up towards your chest, stretching off your hips, your bum and your thigh. And then we're going to change over and do that other side. So I'm going to go a bit closer to the wall. So I'm a bit further away from you. So hopefully you'll see a bit more. So we're lying flat. Head resting on your arm. Top arm is either on your hip or your waist. Or it's on the ground to help support your body. Abdominals are squeezed in. Belly button towards your spine. Bum is squeezed in. Deep breath in when we breathe out. Hopefully both legs come up. If only one leg has came off and the other one stays on the ground, that's okay. Keep squeezing. We're going to do a leg abduction. So that top leg comes up and down. Let's go. Up, down. You're just lifting it up as far as it's comfortable for you. Body is in a nice straight line. Up, down. Keep on going. Down. Keep on going. You might find it's working a bit of your bum, that outer part of your hip. A bit of your obliques as well. You're just lifting up as far as it's comfortable for you. If you find it's a bit of a discomfort on your hip, you might find it better lifting and lowering with the bed leg. Up. Down. Two more. One. Two. And again, legs are hovering above the ground. One leg goes forward, one goes back. Keep your core nice and tight. Belly button squeezed in towards your spine. And again, if you need to, you can pop that top arm down onto the mat for your balance. Four more, four, three, keep on going, last one, 
lower your legs to the ground, bring up this top leg up towards your chest, so as close as it can go, stretching out your hips, bum and thigh. Remember, if you need to drink at any point, please have one. It's really important to stay hydrated. We're going back into our backs again. So we've not done this next move in ages, in so long. So you've got a few different options. I'll just demo them all. First option, you keep your feet on the ground, knees bent, abdominal squeeze in very much towards your spine. Hands come up, you're taking a deep breath. And if you can, you lift up your head, neck and shoulders, looking down your body and you push your arms. Up and down, up and down. Now, if you've got a sore neck, sore shoulders and it feels too uncomfortable lifting up, you can do it here, keeping your belly button squeezed in towards your spine. Middle option, taking a deep breath. When you breathe out, you lift up your head, neck and shoulders and your legs into tabletop position. Up and down with the arms. So that's what we're going to go with. Are you ready? Abdominal squeeze in, belly button towards your spine, back nice and flat on the mat. Deep breath in, arms come out. And when you breathe out, lift up the head and neck if you can and get your legs into position. So they're either in tabletop position, you can have your feet on the ground, or if you need to, you can have your head, neck and shoulders on the ground, but keep your core nice and tight. So it's up to you how fast or slow you go with the arms. Keep your arms nice and strong. Arms work the abs. Arms work the abs. Arms work the abs. Arms work the abs. Point those fingers, arms nice and straight. Crunch, crunch. Belly button squeeze in towards your spine. Keep breathing. One arm. Other arms not moving, just one. Change arms, up and down, up and down. Keep on going, up and down, up and down. Both arms, woo! Crunch those abs, woo! Keep on going, almost done. Can you feel it working? Four, three, two, one. Stretch out, point fingers, point the toes. So I've got good news, and I've got bad news. The good news is, if you have enjoyed that and you were missing that, we're getting to do it again. The bad news is, if you hate that move, we're doing it again, I'm sorry. It's really good for your abs though. So bend those knees, abdominal squeeze in, belly button towards your spine. Arms come out, nice and straight, deep breath in. And if you can, head, neck and shoulders up, legs in position. Let's go! Woo! Up and down, up and down, up and down. Woo! Keep on going. Nice strong arms. Point those fingers. One arm, let's go. Abdominal squeeze then. Keep on breathing, change arms. Can you feel it? Both arms. Woo! Belly button squeeze then. One arm. Four, three, two, change arms. Woo! Can you feel it working? 
I can feel it. Four times. We're almost done. Four, three, two, one. Stretch out. Point the fingers, point the toes. And then we're going on to our front. So this is one that I love. It's really good for your back. Because we've done a lot of abdominal work, we have to work our backs as well. So we're coming down onto our fronts. If you're thinking, Gloria, are we going skydiving? That answer is yes, we are. So you've got a few different options. If you have a sensitive back, hands stay on the ground at all times. Elbows should be in line with your shoulders and hands in a sort of half box shape. So if you have a sense of back, just squeezing your bum as tightly as you can. This is just a demo. Deep breath in, when you breathe out, you come up, hands down. Woo! If you don't have a sense of back, upper body and hands up. So it's a deep breath in. Squeeze in your bum, three, two, one, and woo! And you hold for as long as it's comfortable for you. When you need to breathe in, you come down. Hardest option, same as that middle one, but legs come up as well. So everybody, deep breath in, squeeze in your bum as tightly as you can. Looking down towards mat, three, two, one, go. Woo! We're skydiving. Elbows are in line with the shoulders. Bum is squeezed in nice and tightly. And you're holding until you need to breathe in. When you need to breathe in, you go down. Once you're down, let everything relax. Deep breath in. Squeeze in your bum. Three, two, one. Let's go. Now you better be doing that noise at home as well. Squeezing your bum. You should feel this working about the middle of your back. Keep that bum squeezed in nice and tight. Almost done. When you need to breathe in, go down. Don't wait on me. Don't wait on anybody in the house either. Breathe when you need to breathe. So I'm going down. Deep breath in. Final one. Deep breath in. Squeeze in your bum nice and tight. Three, two, one, let's go. Woo! So if you've skydived, you know, you're free falling right now. Woo! Wind's in your face. <laughs> you're holding. When you need to breathe in, you go down. Deep breath in. And then you are going to bend your knees. We're going into child's pose. Stretch out those arms. Try and get your feet towards your butt. Sorry, your bum towards your heels. Head resting on the mat if you can. Stretch out those arms. Then you're going to bend your toes. And we're going to go into downward dog. So we're going to lift up our legs, straighten them out, bum in the air, walk the hands forward. Now if you need to, you can bend your knees to help you come up. Rolling up the body, rotating the shoulders. We'll take them all the way around. We're going to take in a deep breath, reach up, breathe out, squat down. Deep breath and reach up, breathing out, squatting down. One more time. Breathing out, squatting down. This time, feet together, reach up and over so you're Stretching off the obliques. Other side. Feet hip width apart. Abdominals squeezed in. Deep breath in. 
We're going to squat down, arms by the sides. So deep breath in, breathe out, and up. And again. So make sure your knees are not going over your toes. And then we'll do what I like to call skiing, reach up. We're going to squat down, so as we go down, we go whoosh, deep breath and reach up. Whoosh, deep breath and reach up. Whoosh, and again. Whoosh. We'll take those shoulders around. Full arm rotation, abdominals squeezed in, bum squeezed in. Change arm. Arms out to the sides. Keep your feet forward facing. Abdominal squeeze and bum squeeze and rotate round, following your hands with your head. Into the middle, other side. One more time on each side. Shake off those arms, rotate those shoulders, and that's us finish. So thank you very much for joining me. Remember, drink plenty of water today. Remember to rehydrate. Um, and that's all really. Have a great day. Have a good weekend when it comes. And I will see you soon. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed it.